Have you ever wondered about the intriguing details that make The Simpsons a cultural phenomenon? Well, let's take a journey beyond the laughs and into the history and peculiarities of this iconic show. The Simpsons, a household name and a staple of American pop culture, first graced our screens on The Tracy Ullman Show on April 19, 1987. The brainchild of cartoonist Matt Groening, the show quickly gained traction and has since become the longest-running primetime comedy and animated series in U.S. history. One of the show's most recognizable characters is none other than the mischievous Bart Simpson. With his signature catchphrase, A Caramba, and his knack for trouble, Bart quickly became a fan favorite. But did you know that Bart's voice is actually provided by a woman? Yes, that's right. Nancy Cartwright has been lending her voice to Bart since the very beginning, bringing this character to life with a distinctive vocal flair that's hard to forget. Now let's talk about the unique design elements of the characters. Have you ever noticed that all the characters on The Simpsons have four-fingered hands? This is a common practice in animation to simplify the drawing process. But there's an exception to this rule, the character of God, who is depicted with five fingers, a subtle detail, but one that adds a layer of complexity to the show's visual narrative. And here's another fun fact. Homer Simpson, the bumbling yet lovable patriarch of the Simpson family, originally had a secret identity as Krusty the Clown. While this plotline was eventually dropped, Krusty became a character in his own right, adding yet another layer of humor to the already vibrant world of Springfield. However, the intrigue doesn't end there. Let's dive deeper into the Simpsons universe. Ever wondered why Bart Simpson is named Bart, or why all the characters are yellow? Well, prepare to have your curiosity satiated as we delve into the fascinating world behind the Simpsons characters. The name Bart is not just a random choice, it's an anagram of the word brat, a fitting title for the mischievous and often rebellious character, don't you think? But wait, there's more to it. Bart's middle name, Jojo, is a tribute to animated characters Bullwinkle J. Moose and Rocket J. Squirrel. It seems even The Simpsons couldn't resist paying homage to their animated predecessors. Now, let's talk about the distinctive yellow color of the characters. This was a strategic move to catch the eye of channel surfers. The vibrant yellow shade stands out against the myriad of other colors on the television screen, making it almost impossible for viewers to ignore The Simpsons when flipping through channels. One of the most iconic aspects of Bart Simpson's character is his nine-point hair. This peculiar design is consistent throughout the series, except when Bart's hair is combed. It's these small details that make the characters of The Simpsons so memorable. As for the full names of the main characters, they are Homer J. Simpson, Marjorie Jacqueline Bouvier Simpson, Bartholomew Jojo Simpson, Lisa Marie Simpson, and Margaret Evelyn Simpson. Each name carries its own unique charm and personality, much like the characters themselves. Let's not forget the peculiarities that add depth to these characters. Remember Bart's first words? I caramba. And Homer's not-so-secret email address? ChunkyLover53 at AOL.com. These details may seem trivial, but they contribute to the richness and complexity of The Simpsons' world. The Simpsons is not just an animated series, it's a treasure trove of interesting facts and trivia. So, the next time you watch an episode, keep an eye out for these fun facts. You never know what you might discover. Did you know that Time Magazine named Bart Simpson one of the most influential people of the century in 1998? That's right, a spiky-haired, mischievous cartoon character known for his catchphrase, I caramba, was deemed to have shaped the world more than many real-life figures. This is testament to the monumental cultural impact of The Simpsons. The animated series has made its mark on pop culture in ways that few other shows have. Take, for instance, the episode featuring Paul McCartney. The former Beatle agreed to do a voiceover but on one condition, that Lisa Simpson, the saxophone-playing middle child, becomes a vegetarian for the rest of the series. Not only did this introduce a new character trait for Lisa, but it also broadcasted a message of animal rights and vegetarianism to millions of viewers worldwide. The Simpsons didn't just stop at influencing Western societies. In fact, the show even has an Arabic version where Homer Simpson is known as Omar Shamshum. Despite the cultural adjustments, the heart of the show, the humor, the satire, and the lovable characters remains intact. A unique aspect of The Simpsons is its use of a floating timeline. This means the characters do not age or they age just slightly. This has allowed the show to stay fresh and relevant, tackling current societal issues and trends, even though it first premiered in the late 80s. And speaking of longevity, 
The Simpsons holds the record as the longest-running primetime comedy series and the longest-running primetime animated series in U.S. history. That's over three decades of laughter, satire, and yellow-skinned characters that have become a part of our global cultural fabric. The Simpsons' influence extends far beyond its TV slot, permeating diverse aspects of global culture. Whether it's the Eat My Shorts catchphrase, the iconic opening theme, or even just a simple D.O.H., The Simpsons has left an indelible mark on pop culture worldwide. Switching gears, let's delve into an interesting scientific discovery related to blindness. There are two types of near blindness that are operable, given the retina has retained functionality. These are caused by cataracts and opacity of the cornea. In the swinging 60s, scientists Richard Gregory and Gene Wallace interviewed one of the first individuals cured of blindness. It's intriguing to note that the patient was very quickly able to identify objects he'd been familiar with when he was blind, as well as some colors. However, a few days into his newfound sight he voiced a surprising sentiment. He was somewhat disappointed by how drab the world appeared, especially after the sun went down. It seems that the world he'd imagined in his mind was more colorful than the reality he was now witnessing. This fascinating account reminds us of the incredible advancements in medical science and the complexities of human perception.